multi-phase design. Multi-phase is a mixed method design that goes beyond the four basic designs or the six basic designs of it that, that we just discussed, right? Transformative, uh, if, if you don't discuss transformative, so basically uh, the, the basic designs uh, are four designs and then we have two transformative designs. It's a combination of sequential and concurrent aspects, right? Most common in large funded or multi-year projects. Right. So um, I know one of the projects uh, run by the the World Bank that I'm currently involved with. It's it's a multi-layered project, and it's been it, it's the second year, but it's going to be here for for at least five to six more years. So so that has a sequential uh, aspect into it, and it has a concurrent aspect into it. So this is a multi-phase. So there are multiple studies which are being used that informs one and then another one is being done and then another study is being done and then based on that another study is being designed so if you look into this the phase one yeah it, it is basically from the same uh, project that i'm talking about so this is again most of you who are researcher in the field uh, you might not be doing this one because it's it's far far way complicated to, to do this one okay this one is important you know why integration you know and it was needed because of a very obvious reason uh, when we talk about the sequential explanatory design right very easy quan preceding qual usually quan can be qual or equal right priority or status then sequential exploratory stages of integration is again interpretation right so most of them as as we discuss except the concurrent most of them are in interpretation stage right and then well, quan and the priority or status can be one or the other either dominant or both equal sequential transformative concurrent design both of them are equal qual or quan both of them right an interpretation or analysis it can be it goes back to the purpose either you are going to validate or you are going to add right and then when we talk about the nested nested is always in analysis time right and and don't forget nested was that embedded design when we talked about right when we were talking about the secondary supplementary data to one or the other so it is important for us to analyze that data together uh, you know before getting into the results or the final stage or interpretation of the results it either one can be dominant and in transformative either dominant or both equal but as i said mostly in transformative designs the theoretical part is more dominant 